he is, Morris the Nine Lives Cat. Come on, legendary spokes cat. One of the greatest mascots of them all. This cat started at the Hinsdale Humane Society in Chicago. It was the late 1960s. There was a photographer that was looking for a cat and he asked them at the center if they had one and they said, we have just the cat. And this little cat that they named Lucky went on to become one of the most famous cats that ever lived. Now here he is, that's his trainer, Bob Martin. Let's find out a little bit about Morris first. How'd you find Morris? In a humane society. So you don't have to be a pedigreed cat no. to be a great cat. No, Morris is an alley cat. Here's a more recent photo. Morris the cat has worked to adopt other cats since then, and he's now gotten over one million cats adopted. There he is. That's not the original Morris. The Morris name and Morris spirit has been passed down for generations. Let's take a look at one of the early Morris the cat commercials. Morris, your horoscope's divine. What do the stars know? Listen, new experience forthcoming. It's true. There's something new for Din Din. Did the stars forget I'm finicky? It's nine lives. New beef and liver. The Moroscope says check that out. <laughs> wow, nine lives. <laughs> now that personality that you see in that ad, it probably reminds you of a couple cats that came later. One of them was Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat, very similar in tone and attitude. But the other one, an animated cat named Garfield. Garfield's a straight up ripoff of Morris the Cat. Morris the Cat, the original one, did pass away. He was 17 years old. Uh, at that point, he had done more than just commercials, but heck, he had done over 58 commercials. He had appeared in an Elliot Gould movie as well as a movie where he starred alongside Burt Reynolds. Hello, Cat. What's your name? Cat. Cat, that makes sense. He belonged to you? Well, we share the same apartment. So here we have, uh, from Find a Grave, it says that Morris was buried in the backyard of his trainer in Chicago. It lists his birth as 1959. It's like seeing Morris the Cat alive once more. This is so boring. <laughs> his trainer died as well. He died at age 75 in 2001. It says here, the same actor who did Morris's voice, they said that he was going to continue to do the voice after Morris died, but they weren't going to reveal who it was. It has since been revealed. It was John Lee Irvin. Uh, he is still around. He's the voice of He-Man. It's also the voice of Morris the Cat. Morris the Cat had multiple books. He had three books that he wrote. Uh, the Morris Approach and then The Morris Method. And then lastly was one that was called the Morris Prescription, according to the Humane Society's website, but I can't find anything else about it. But these were apparently like how to care for a cat book. So they were written in the tone as if they were written by Morris, but they were basically, here's how to care for a cat, because that's what Nine Lives was really big on. Now, Morris was an absolute celebrity. Every cat should have a human. Like all stars, Morris travels first class. Today, he's headed downtown to Chicago's Magnificent Mile, where a new television commercial awaits his approval. He's in the scene. You're going to jump on this couch, okay? What's my motivation? <laughs> this kind of stardom yeah. creates its own occasional drawback. Morris gets so much mail, he even has his own fan club. Dear Morris, I would like for you to please let my cat, Frenchie, become a member of your fan club. I'm just a simple unspoiled idol of millions here is a shot of morris wearing sunglasses which he had on like a strap that went around his head he's there 12 o'clock look sunglasses orange fur okay oh yeah got it man whoa he's cool whoa i think i see a tail i'm gonna film this it's going on youtube and it's going to go viral i I must admit, I am a little nervous. And being a big star, people would line up to meet him. He went to Vanity Fair to do a photo shoot at one point, and they said there was a line in the office that stretched as far as the hallway could go of people that just wanted to come up and pet Morris the cat.
Uh, if you did meet Morris the Cat, they had different pins you could get. Personal friend of Morris the Cat. I met Morris the Nine Lives Cat. And then this one, uh, this is one of the many campaign buttons. This one's 1992. Morris ran for president every year. This was in a time period where running for president didn't automatically make at least half the country hate you. Because uh, no one hated Morris the Cat. A surprising new presidential candidate, Morris the Cat. It's time we have a president. Now here is another book. This is like a biography of Morris. So this one, you can learn all about the ins and outs of Morris's life. The world is about to get singed by one of the most sizzling and intimate biographies ever published. I, I want to read this. This is on my this is on my must read list for this year. There was a Morris the Cat calendar almost every single year in the 70s. Here's Morris's master plan and here he's saying ridiculous whiskers are macho. He's telling them not to shave. The cat's always got those whiskers. I always heard that cats have whiskers and that tells them how far they can stick their head in things. And I don't know if that's true, but I have seen my cat squeeze through very small spaces and if, if that's the way that they can tell, that's pretty good. I can usually tell. If my beard, if it touches the walls, I know I'm not going in. Catitude Adjustments. This is a 1998 calendar. So the calendars continued for a very long period of time. He went one-on-one. -on -one. Morris versus 1980. Uh, Nine Lives calendar. Came with some coupons up there. And then here at the back of the cover, you see his tail. And it says, why wait to the tail end of 1980? Order your new calendar now. Here we go. They've got the glove. It's a message from Morris's corner. And I think this is a good message for us as we're starting a new year. It says, this is your year. Round one coming up. So take on the new year and everything it has to give. Don't miss one holiday payday special offer or money saving coupon inside. Well, not all of that applies to us today, but some of it. I found a couple of these trophies were on eBay. These are pretty great. Vintage Morris the Cat Trophy uh, Award, Purina Contest, Nine Lives Prize Award. I mean, this is eBay, so they got to put like every search word you could imagine. But I found another one with a slightly different pose of the golden Morris there and the dish. Uh, here is Morris after he went to veterinary school. Here's a board that you could get for your house to take messages. We used to all have phones that hung in our house. And so we would have some kind of place for you to get messages because your phone would ring, big sister answers. Who is it? At least you could write it on this Morris is here to take your messages nine lives board. The Morris Report. Now this ran for many years. I don't know if this is still around, but this is like a Nine Lives magazine. The Morris Report, feline leukemia, uh, Jerry Catrix, those lovable Siamese. These are like real serious articles, but Morris would be on the cover of every single issue. Morris is still on the packaging for Nine Lives. They've done away with Morris and brought him back a few times over the years. I'm gonna show you a new commercial. The voice is different and I don't know, this might be the first time. I watch The Muppets, it doesn't bother me, but this, this isn't Morris the Cat. Hello, I'm Morris, Morris the Cat. You probably know me as the star of Sage, Screen, and more than 50 commercials for delicious Nine Lives cat food. All of that hasn't gone to my head. I still step into my litter box one paw at a time. So the other day I got a call from Mashable, that really popular digital media site that everyone reads. I got this one other Morris item, but first I did want to say, if you enjoy these videos, make sure and be like the Fonz, give it a thumbs up, and while you do, go A, because then YouTube sees your thumb, they hear your A, and they pass this video along to someone else. And then if they give it a thumbs up, then they pass it along to another person, and that would make my day. Nine Lives presents Morris. Hi, guys. Have any dinner plans? Morris! He's gone fishing. Supper time! Sorry, I'm catching their last act. Don't be finicky. It's Nine Lives Fisherman Stew. Fisherman Stew? Guys, let's make it another time. Fisherman Stew. Tasty morsels of fish and vegetables. Nine Lives. Nutritious foods, tempting recipes, even the most finicky cat can't resist. Nine Lives, you're quite a catch. So here is a Morris the Cat bag I have. It says, I'm Morris, Nine Lives is my bag. This is one of the many promotional items they would have on the other side, on the reverse. It says, purr if you're a Morris fan. 
And that is pretty great. Yeah, they had tons of other stuff. There was a free nine lives cut you could get. If you weren't into Morris, you could get Sylvester saying flying is for the birds. But who isn't into Morris? I'd want both. I definitely want that Morris the Cat kite that says I always fly first class. I love it. Uh, let's take a look at one more commercial. Look, Morris, a darling kitty. If that's a cat, I'm a bald eagle. That's no cat. Cats look dignified. What, some din din deer? Cats are also finicky. Rich red nine lives tuna. Nine lives could make a stuffed cat hungry. <laughs> Well, that's going to bring this one to a close. This was fun talking about Morris the Cat. Uh, right now, there's going to be a box here and here on this side. It's going to be one about Garfield and Heathcliff, and you can check that out. Choose which cat you like the best. On this side, YouTube's choosing the one that they say is best for you. So I choose this one. YouTube chooses that one. You choose whatever you want. But please, come back tomorrow at 2 o'clock. We're going to have a brand new adventure here. Say goodbye, Morris. I'm too finicky for that.